Hello, I'm here today to play around some float planes in Rise of Flight. I'm going to critique how float planes handle in the game. I am a uh, seaplane instructor, charter pilot, um, and uh, I have about 500 hours on floats and I've given about 50 float ratings. Um, so I'm going to give my first impressions here, starting with zero wind, zero turbulence, clear weather. So I'm expecting to see like glassy water and I shouldn't be weather veining much if at all. And uh, water should be pretty smooth and sticky. So, it's been a long time since I've played Rise of Flight, so... Bear with me here. Uh, could be reversed. I feel like that's mixture idle and that's pitch. Oh, I should have played this game a bit before I decided to make a video. Hmm. Okay, I'll try it. Uh, okay, I didn't hear it even fart there at all, so. There we go. Okay. So, my controls are reversed. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. So, the first thing I see here is that I'm hitting waves and I selected no wind. You can actually see the ripples and it looks like. Yeah, you see the reflections are distorted and there's water droplets coming on my prop. That shouldn't really be. It should be smooth as butter. I'm on a lake, I'm not on a channel. Especially in a little bay here. And I shouldn't be picking up spray. have a lot of pitch authority for being at idle. Even when I cut the prop. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like I have too much authority on the elevator. And same with the rudder. That's definitely, definitely weak. That's way more effective than the water rudder to have access to this thing. Doesn't have water right Yeah. Uh, turning it this sort of idle RPM should be sluggish. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, anyway, let's try bringing it up into plow attitude. It should take a while to take off longer than with the wind, not just because of the headwind, but because the wave blitz uh, will cause a gap between the uh, air gaps <clears throat> that break the surface tension between the floats in the water. Uh, anyway, let's try to get our group plow just to the nose rise twice. Or twice. Wow, okay. It's very rough on the step and the nose dips pretty far down. Won't scare you. Okay, well, yeah, see, there's a lot of what looks like ripples or wavelets on the reflections aren't bad, they, they should be a, a perfect reflection through glass. So I'm going to land here and we'll see what it's like landing. So, it should feel pretty sticky, but it should be very smooth. The nose shouldn't be 
bobbing up and down and just see. Oh, okay, it's down a bit early there. Jesus. Okay, well, that was pretty realistic. I should have been able to. I had. I should have had more elevator authority there to prevent it from flipping over there at the end. But definitely with glassy, it's stickier and will pull you, pull you forward. And I uh, misjudged my height there, which is accurate. Um, water is glassy enough that you can't really distinguish the surface height. Um. And I should have got the nose up higher sooner. Well, that was shitty, but that's what you get when you don't fly a plane for the first time in a long time. And go balls to the wall without doing proper glassy technique. I thought the, the water surface was defined enough that... Anyway. Let's stop finding excuses for that stupidity and let's try it. Okay, so... Yeah, the nose dip too much there. Throttle back and play up the dead. It should be smooth butter here. Should be able to... Yeah, okay. Control should be a lot... Yeah, it seems like it's over controlling. Yeah, I feel like the nose is bobbing up and down all over the place trying to simulate waves, but there should be no waves on like this side on a zero wing day and the fine movements I was doing up six should just make slight movements added to it. Or like I lifted off just by moving it back a little bit. A little bit of nose forward pressure sent you on your back. Okay, well, let's try a landing. Now, for glassy water landing, our proper technique. So I'll land along the door line. So I'm using the dock in this building as a uh, reference to my above the water. To get to the height of those stops, I'm going to get to the touchdown attitude and just use power to control my descent. There we go. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to see the nose should dig down, maybe like that. But you should be able to. Yeah, I have no. You should be able to pick. Okay, maybe this thing is just a lot more nodes forward plate picture than what I'm used to. You know, I, I gotta, I think I gotta get in the real plane and make some videos. Thank you. Yeah. When I put on the throttle, my turn radius should increase it. Way more. Than because you don't have that kind of traction. You don't have that kind of traction. Should be pulling forward something like that. Maybe. Oh, that. 
Okay, so that's kind of cool how they model that. I'm still a bit fast. I should be coming off the step that fast. But that's way better than most of it. But yeah, I should have that kind of authority. When I put on this model, it turns maybe something. That. Right there. I just drive. I got a, I got a self wheel thing. Okay, coming off the step. Off the step one more time. the step. The nose should start to pitch up. Right over. Slowly rise from here. Hit the peak, then come back down. Which I see just here. See how this is a thick foot. I should be trying to climb up over it that way. Down. Back to the right. And then coming. There's no coming off the step. Or going on to it there with it. They can put. Oh my, I don't feel it there. That's weird. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, I don't know how much of that could be changed. Plate model, but those are my impressions in my glass uh, of water. Now let's try adding a bit of wind. Okay, so I see I'm weather raining in the room. Good. Now... Okay, yeah, wait for the rudder control. Okay, so turning out of the wind, now I'm going to straighten the rudders, and we're going to see how the weather rain. Okay, yeah, I'm going to the bay. So, I don't know how we that is, but I can see that the waves are traveling away from me, away from where I'm looking right now, and that's not aligned with the wind spot. The waves should look perpendicular to the wind. Um, okay, so now I'm turning crosswind, and when I straighten the water at rudder, the, the wind spot's way out, so let's see. The rudder's straight. That's pretty good, how it whips into wind, but instead of slowing down that early, the no the inertia should keep my nose coming through the the wind. Maybe bring me to here before it kind of swings back, goes through the wind. It should really. I'm gonna use the rudders to kind of show how I think it should feel. So if I let them go straight, I think it returns something like this. And then it would go through the direction of the wind like that. Maybe a little bit better right there. Then come back through the wind and then kind of settle. There's kind of a, a weight in here that it kind of swings back and forth. So I'll try to get that in video real easily. Yeah, turning around with wind socks straight out like this should be impossible. Or near it, which it is. That's kind of cool. That's not bad, they lost. And cut the turn, it's going to tighten here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, that's not badly done. 
That actually feels pretty good. Nicely done. I don't think I have too much rudder authority. Or no water rudder, but... Now, I guess there sh should be... This is where I'd feel the chop. If I let all the controls go... I feel like there should be more waves at this wind speed. to be more choppy. Should be like, crunk, 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 crunk. Yeah, I can't replicate that. Screw it. Should be, should be bouncing off the wave. And I should be off the water in no time, just like that. And it should be, be quite a bit rougher. And you should see wind screen. Yeah. White cap. And you shouldn't see the reflection of this wind speed reflecting the sphere. This. Okay, well, I'm sorry you had to wait to find four of the in there, but that was fun. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to the IL2. I should, uh, maybe post a link in the description to uh, my IL2 forum post. And, uh, I compare to this. Anyway, take care. All the best. Go on.